Castro. <laughs> What's good, Team Castro? It's your girl, and welcome back to my AC Legacy. If you knew, what it do, boo? What it do, boo? And this, and this, and fear of that. Bless. <laughs> Today, I want to show you guys what's in my bag. I did a poll on my Instagram, and I asked you guys what you wanted me to do, and this was a requested segment. So, let's take a look into Cash Money Castro's purse. All right, so let's talk about it. First of all, I have a motherfucking Louis Vuitton. I, 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 a Louis, a Louis. But can we, can we just get a quick cameraman? Can we get a quick zoom in on, on the initials? Can, uh, uh, <laughs> I paid extra for that. Okay. It also came with a little wallet. Okay, with a little handle, so you can just. Mm, you don't want to hold the whole bag. That's okay. But if you want to just be cute, keep it small. Walk up to the gas station real quick. Get a lollipop. But you still want to start. Anywho, one of the first things I noticed on the wallet was the cute little symbol on the actual zipper. That was so effing cute for me. And of course the little handle. Also the fact that I could unbuckle it if need be. Need a whack a motherfucker five times. I usually have separate bags that are categorized with specific things just to keep my bag organized. So one of the first bags is my little cheetah bag. This, this right here, this, this is gold. I love gold. You wanna know why this is gold? You wanna know why bitches would spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this? Let me tell, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. Picture this. You wanna date your dreams with a man in your dreams. Everything is going right and you like, baby, he about to get it tonight. All of a sudden you feel a little drip drip. A little drip drip. Oh, bitch, you don't have all your supplies. Boom, boom, baby, bam. A thousand dollars. Then your white dress don't leave here like a crime scene. <laughs> I just made a sale. This is basically my period god on the go. Um, I'm not gonna get too in debt because you know, but it has, you know, got the wipes. I have some spray, you know what I mean? Got the tampons and um, a couple pads. You never know. You never know how you feeling and you never know what kind of underwear you wearing. Hello, goodbye. Next, next bag inside my bag is my little coin purse. Cause you gotta stack your chips however you get them, all right? Fuck if it's pennies or dimes and nickels or fathers. I love them all, give them to me. Donate to the Castro Fund, trying to get the fuck out this house. But no, seriously, I do save all my change. I kinda stop using change and dollar bills because I really wanted to put them to the side and watch them grow. My grandma used to do that a lot when we were kids. So every year when we came to visit up here, she would have a big gallon of mad change and somebody different would get it every year and it would turn out to be like hundreds of dollars. So I was like, oh shit, grandma knew what she was doing. Let me take that into consideration. So there's a little advice for you as well. <laughs> Free of charge. The secret black bag. It's literally not even secret. It's mainly just like a last minute, kind of got to get ready for something type of bag. I have like lip gloss, perfume, chapstick, and then of course my Kush Mosh core, because you can't go nowhere without that good the Kush in I got four things here that I can go whenever I need to get ready quickly. The last bag inside my bag is the biggest, in fact. <laughs> I say the biggest for the last. Can you make a This is basically just my miscellaneous bag. I throw everything that I don't want inside the bag, just chilling, into this bag. By the way, my friend made this. She drew this and then put it on a sticker and made it for me. I actually have a whole bunch of her stickers. She's an amazing artist. I'm gonna make sure to drop her Instagram down below as well. Make sure you guys check her out. She does all sorts of things. She even hosts cool events like Puff and Pinks and Sip and Pinks. So make sure y'all check her out. But yes, inside of here is literally just mad miscellaneous stuff. You know, I gotta have some juicy fruit in case, you know. I'm trying to get a little juicy. This is my eyebrow shaver. You never know when you when you need a quick little touch up, you know what I mean? So I'm always ready, I'm always ready. My eyebrows mean a lot to me, y'all know. Speaking of eyebrows, if you haven't already, make sure y'all check out my waxing eyebrow video. It was my first time waxing my eyebrows. I'ma drop the link as well, check it out. It is fucking hilarious. I don't 
don't think I did that bad. So make sure to comment and let me know what you think. The next shaver I have in here is my upper lip shaver. Okay, because you know, girls aren't allowed to have no hair nowhere. So I'm always ready. Ain't nobody going to catch me wolfing. At least not outside. Maybe in the house. Maybe in the house. Gotta have the gum. If I'm not trying to feel juicy, I'm trying to get real. Next. Gotta have the hater blockers. Y'all know the vibes. It be sunny up in this motherfucker. And niggas be all up in my grill. Give me six feet, baby. <laughs> six, please. <laughs> Got some more chapstick. I swear by EOS. I don't know about y'all, but I fucking love it. I know it's really expensive, but it's super worth it. And it does make your lips super hydrated. So make sure to try it out. They got mad flavors. They have mad different textures. So just check it out and tell me what you think. Next, I gotta have my stain remover. You never know. With my job, I'm a server. So food is always going everywhere. I gotta stay on point. You feel me? I'm not gonna bag an eligible bachelor with ketchup on my nipples. You gotta have a stain remover just in case, baby. Next, I got my I'm not in the mood glasses. Once I put them on, you'll see. Next, some work objects. I have my crummer and my corkscrew because for some reason my job wants me to use this to take crumbs off the table when I could just go like this with the motherfucking tablecloth. I don't understand it. When I'm not serving, I am bartending, so I need to have my nifty difty corkscrew. There's always an open bar at the events that I work, so this is a must because these motherfuckers are alcoholics. Doesn't matter the time. I do early parties, late parties, midday parties, after Christmas parties, after Mother's Day parties. They don't care. They're getting wet all day long. And God forbid you have the weak beers. These niggas is only looking for the IPAs. Fuck out of here. Another thing, servers always have to have all of them. Of course, our pens. If you're a server, you know the pain. You either have all of them or you ain't got nothing. And it's like. Golly. The last things that I have in my miscellaneous bag is an end piece charger because you never know when you will need it. And of course, an iPhone charger because if my phone dies when I'm outside, I want to go home. <laughs> Seriously, take me home. And a pack of matches and a lock and a key. Let me explain. No, I'm not a serial killer. The matches are because I can never find a lighter and I'm a stoner, so I need fire, you feel me? So I have to take it back to the old days. And I have this lock because I used to go to the gym consistently before quarantine and I was not leaving my beautiful Louis Vuitton just in a motherfucker locker for bitches to be all over it. No, drool from afar, bitch, don't touch. So you gotta make sure you lock your shit up because the Bronx is no joke. Niggas will rob you and walk out with your stuff right in front of you. Like they didn't just rob you. They don't give a fuck out here. They're crazy, bro. They're crazy. And the only item that I have outside of my bag because of my grandma is a flashlight. You always want to be prepared, but you never know. You know what I mean? Sometimes I gotta be a detective in this bedroom. Last but not least, I do have a little pocket in the inside, as you guys can tell. Look at that beautiful Louis Vuitton sign. It's so sexy. Okay, sorry. So inside of this little pocket are my absolute necessities. Can't leave the crib without them, and I'm going to explain why. First, hand sanitizer. Corona is everywhere. Be careful, everybody. I don't know why we had to tell people to start washing their hands, but that should already be a thing. But in the event you're a dirty booty ass nigga, you don't wash your hands and you think hand sanitizer is the only thing for you, make sure you have a pack because if you touch me with them crusty, musty hands, I'm calling the police. Next is my mini mirror that I also put bobby pins in. I always need bobby pins, always. Like literally always. Even when I don't think I do, I'm a need. So this, this is a need. E even if it's two. Even if it's two. A need. A need. The third thing, and I know we already have tons of it already, but you need chapstick. You can't be having no musty, crusty lips up in this bitch, y'all. And I lose chapstick like it's nothing. So I try to have at least 3,000 on standby. The last and final most essential thing you need as a pretty girl in the hood of the Bronx is... 
Y'all ready for this? I'm blinking because these niggas want to die every day, B. They want to die every day. They want to get played with you because if you're cute, nigga, you, you, you can stab, nigga. You can stab, nigga. I'll stab you, nigga. I don't even know what you nigga. I'll stab you, nigga. And then I'll say, I'm crazy, nigga. I say, I'm crazy, nigga. No, but seriously, I do keep a pocket knife on me because you never really know nowadays. And I don't want to kill anybody, but I also don't want to get killed. Uh oh, you see how that works? It's kind of it's like a cat 22. So, rather have it not need than to need it not have, right, Carrie? I hope you guys enjoyed my purse tour. And if you have more ideas on what else you'd like to see, make sure to drop them down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Until next time, kids. See you later, team. Pull up, show out, you know about Castro, everybody know the name. Shots to Cuba, him and I are not the same. But hungry for the power, who could really blame him? Shots to Bob, I York, the inland for the fame. New York is always this, this is just a lane. This is a, I'm not gonna catch an eligible bad, bad, bad. Today I'm gonna show you guys what's in my, bad. this is, oh, okay, hold on. Can I come back with it? I don't I don't know. I don't, there we go. Next I have my stink. Next I have that, 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 that. This is a first day period kiss. Uh, I do save all my chips. This is, and each year, this is basically. Yeah, I'm not getting an eligible bachelor and somebody with different. Blah, blah, blah. The next shaver. Oh, shit. If y'all haven't already, I'm not gonna bag an eligible bachelor. Okay, so that. And then the last thing I actually. The last. I, and the only thing. Blah, 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 blah.